Welcome back to Network's Tech Talk, a Samsung podcast. I'm your host, Kaylee Pickens, and we've got a great conversation for you today. Virtual Radio Access Networks, or VRAN, are the future of the radio access side of mobile operators' networks. VRAN is software that runs on off-the-shelf servers rather than the proprietary dedicated hardware that mobile network providers have been running for decades. With 5G, operators need to be able to update their networks and offer new services in a much timelier fashion than earlier generations of wireless would allow. This is where VRAN comes in. Today, we're going to talk with Suro Chigupta, director and head of 5G collaboration for the networks business at Samsung, about what VRAN means for operators and the benefits they can experience if they embrace this technology. Welcome, Suruchi. Thank you for having me, Kelly. A recent survey reported that virtually all 99% of operator respondents will add part or all of VRAN to their networks by the end of 2023. Why are network providers so interested in VRAN? Once again, thank you for having me, Kelly. So with the evolution and the shift of traditional RAN, which we also call T-RAN, to virtualized RAN, the CSPs are now able to differentiate the network through various benefits. I'll I'll go ahead and highlight a few key ones. The supplier diversity. So with virtualization, networks can now run on open-sourced hardware, making for a larger vendor market and much reduced cost. The ability to launch new services used to take years to launch, waiting for the right hardware to be upgraded, which can now be performed remotely within hours with a simple software update. Last but not the least, the global technology leadership. VRAN is the future, and operators that embrace it will find themselves in front of the competitors. Can you tell us about the major benefits of VRAN to operators? Absolutely. So automation and orchestration of the network functions significantly benefits the operators using a virtual RAN, reducing their operational personnel cost with increased automation, which leads to efficiencies in workflows and troubleshooting. Those new services I just mentioned, Kelly, virtualization can give an operator precisely the features they need and deploy them very rapidly. Services revenues for operators are going to jump. Adding to the list of benefits, Kelly, the VRAN will allow the service providers to optimize their deployments. What that means is, with the software upgrades taking place of rip and replace hardware changes, we are absolutely going to see a much quicker, convenient, and a near near zero touch operation. So if I continue my thoughts, the virtualization of the network will also allow for extraordinary scaling efficiencies ramping up resources whenever and as needed. Dynamic scaling is an automated method that will enable the networks to add processing power, memory, and connection resources on the fly when the new functionality needs to be instantiated and free them up for other tasks whenever the customers will not require them directly. Finally, network slicing. And maybe that'll segue into your next question. Yeah, that's a great segue. Can you tell me more about network slicing? Uh, Can you let us know what it is and why it's so important for operators and enterprises? Absolutely. So network slicing will allow the service providers to create and run multiple virtual networks on the same physical environment, decreasing hardware cost. Each slice can have customized sets of properties for a specific group of users that a public network cannot guarantee. What that means is low latency, higher throughput, peak data rate, specific security requirements. This will allow the operators to maximize the capacity of the networks providing the exact specifications needed for chosen applications and services because every and each slice will be isolated from the public network and the other slices security is much increased. The devices are authenticated on a per slice basis and the data for each slice will be shielded from the site from the other slices. So I hope that kind of answers your question. It is. Thank you. And you mentioned network automation earlier when you were talking about some of the benefits. Can you tell us how network automation helps operators? Absolutely, Kelly. The automation of the network functions will significantly benefit the operators using a virtualized RAN, which I mentioned in the beginning of our conversation. So we just discussed the benefits of network slicing to the operators. Automating the network slicing lifecycle will be essential, as will be the creation, scaling, and the dissolution of the slices, which will happen continuously. 
So dynamic scaling will, is also an automated method that will allow the networks to quickly add new resources when the slices and functionality needs to be instantiated, such as processing power, memory, connection resources. Um, dynamic scaling will also be used to add resources when the traffic spike occurs and automatically use those resources for ordinary tasks, such as generating reports when not otherwise required, or even powering down temporarily saving energy cost. And how will operators who have VRAN compare to those who maintain a traditional RAN system? So the software-based virtualization of the RAN will continue to progress at a faster pace than the hardware-centric networks, which will, of course, lead to the ease of soft software upgrades. Larger number of vendors in the VRAN ecosystem, supplier diversity will guarantee that the new network approach will evolve rapidly and cost-effectively. I said this in the beginning of our conversation, the global technology leadership. With the numerous companies worldwide now participating in the VRAN ecosystem, it will not take long for VRAN architectures to completely dominate the vendor-specific hardware and performance matrix. The operators who embrace a VRAN architecture will find themselves with accelerated pace of innovation, the ability to flexibly manage their networks, and deploy new services quickly by using the network slicing and running the 5G network on the same equipment as their existing LT environment. And why is Samsung the market leader when it comes to VRAN? Samsung is the first to bring VRAN to market. Samsung is the global leader in VRAN with the proven track record in commercial deployments on a wide scale. The only major vendor actually with tier one of operator deployments right now in Europe, Asia, and North America. It was recognized in the for 5G VRAN with two awards at the GLOMO Award at Mobile World Congress 2022, at the CTO's Award, and the Best Mobile Technology Breakthrough. Saruchi, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you so much for having me today, Kelly. It has been great talking to you. VRAN gives MNOs greater network availability and better deployment flexibility using pooled, centralized resources that operate on standardized, commercially available hardware and Samsung's leadership in development and deployment for major operators around the world is impressive. We are all excited to see the network virtualization we've discussed today continue to advance around the globe. And to our audience, thank you for participating in today's podcast. We look forward to seeing you next time on Networks Tech Talk.